Alright, so hey folks, how's it going? It's your boy D. Uh, this is going to be my first of what will hopefully be a series of unpackings or breakings or whatever the term is. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm new to this whole thing where people uh, open up boxes of uh, trading cards uh, on YouTube. Um, I figured I'd give it a shot. It was something I used to do in my younger days. Uh, back when, you know, I was a teenager, didn't have much money, right around, you know, the 1992 times. And so, you know, now that I'm older and, you know, have a couple of dollars more in my pocket, I figured I'd give it a shot. And one of the cool things is a lot of these, you know, cases are insanely cheap. I think I bought this one for about $20 at a local card shop. Uh, look on eBay, I see them anywhere between $20 and $30. You know, and there's, you know, 36 packs. So, pretty much, you know, we're paying less than a dollar for a pack, you know. Whereas back in the day, uh, for those of you that remember, you know, uh, what was considered cheap, I think Tops was 50 cents a pack. Upper Deck was about a dollar a pack. And things just got a little bit more expensive now, uh, you know, back in those days with Top Stadium Club and Fleer Ultra and what have you. And for the most part, the prices have gone down for a lot of the older stuff. Uh, so I figured I'd open up. I'd open up a lot of the older stuff. Uh, I have a series of uh, packs here. I have Score. I have Upper Deck. I have uh, you know Fleer Ultra, what have you, uh, that I've purchased uh, you know recently. Like I said, at different shops uh, that I've been to over the past few weeks, and I figured I'd open them up and share it with you guys. And so if you like what you see, always hit that like button. And if you care, you can always subscribe. And, you know, we'll just have this fun together. Like I said, it's a nice little hobby. I plan on probably doing about a box per week. Uh, I'll do, you know, multiple different sports, mostly, you know, baseball, uh, football, basketball. Uh, basketball will be a little bit tougher as, you know, a lot of those uh, wax packs, you know, from back in the day have uh, gotten a little bit more expensive than what I'm used to. But if I find a good deal for, you know, a box here or there, I'll, I'll grab one. I do have, uh, I think, a 91 upper deck. Uh, and I think I have a 90 hoops. So, you know, and there's a few other ones I've seen out there that I'll probably snag up uh, in, in the weeks and months to come. So, uh, I also will probably end up doing a box of uh, Pokemon. Maybe not a full, complete booster box. Maybe an ETB. Uh, you know, I have family that are, is really deep into the Pokemon uh, scene. And, uh, you know, just pretty much whatever else that I happen to snag onto and and uh, open up just for the fun of it. You know, just to share along with you guys. Anything that's, you know, relatively affordable. Uh, the whole industry has just gotten so insane lately uh, with the prices. I think I was at my local card shop uh, the other day and uh, he had just a regular box just like this I think it was a basketball uh, I can't remember what year or brand it was I really didn't pay attention the only thing I saw was the price uh, it was eight thousand dollars and uh, it was a sale price so <laughs> I can only imagine what the regular price was probably nine or ten thousand dollars and I mean it had you know a handful of packs like you know five or six packs with five or six cards in it and I think it, it guaranteed an autograph or two but uh, all I could see was that price of eight thousand dollars, and that's just way out of my price range. And I, I looked over, you know, on the other counter, and you know, he had something like this for twenty dollars, and I said, "Well, I'll take that." You know, thirty-six packs, as you can see, sixteen cards per pack. Uh, I can't beat that. This was something I definitely couldn't do when I was younger. I was lucky enough to, you know, every once in a while after I got paid or got my allowance, you know, I'd run to the store and and buy, you know, four or five packs at a time. Uh, and, and as I, you know, worked a little bit, every once in a while I'd buy uh, a whole box like this every once in a while for maybe 30 or 40 bucks. But uh, now, you know, like I said, I'm older, I have a couple more dollars in my pocket, so I figured I'd, uh, my wife thinks it's a, <laughs> a, mid a midlife crisis, and who knows, it might be. But you know what, this could be a whole lot of fun. Maybe we'll find some good cards uh, valued at uh, quite a bit. I think, you know, Ken Griffey Jr. is still going. Uh, for a couple of dollars here and there, like, you know, maybe a hundred bucks, so, and, you know, you got this whole grading thing with PSA and Beckett and all those guys, who knows, I don't know if I would ever get into that, uh, that deep, but, you know, buy this for $20 and get a Ken Griffey, you know, maybe worth, you know, 50 to a hundred, you know, sell it off, you know, on eBay or something and make my money back, but 
that's uh, something way down the road. I just want to open up some cards and, and uh, let's get to it. I think I've talked enough already, so we'll just open up this. Uh, <laughs> I think I have I have some scissors here where I can open up the plastic. I have to say this this box is in pretty decent shape here. It was, I've uh, seen a few boxes over the past few weeks where, um, considering you know this is 1992 and it's now 2023, for for a box to have survived you know over 30 years. Oh, sorry, I hit the camera there. Camera's right in front of me, and this was probably the best spot I could find to you know for you guys to be able to see what exactly what I'm doing here. So it's quite likely that I'm going to bump into this thing quite, quite a few times so bear with me here and I, I apologize in advance but anyway but as you can see this box is in incredibly good shape for a 30 year old box uh, I've seen a few boxes out there that look like uh, <laughs> they, they look like they've been run over by a truck uh, in fact uh, the other day on, on a side note I, I picked up uh, a new game uh, from GameStop uh, brand new and it just came out like a couple of weeks ago I think it was the Fire Emblem uh, Engage uh, Divine Edition and you know he I he hands it to me and I'm looking at the thing and I'm like good lord you know you've had it in your hands for maybe two days but it looks like somebody took a bat to it so so that, that was kind of disappointing but anyway that's that's another story for another time so anyway so yeah it looks like this is a the series one and uh, we'll uh We'll pull these things out. So I have to admit, I was not into score uh, back in the day. Uh, when I first got introduced into uh, baseball cards uh, back in the mid to late 80s, I was in middle school. And obviously the, the, the company to beat at the time was Topps. And then uh, once I got a little bit older, into my late teens, uh, it looked like uh, Upper Deck had become... Uh, the company to beat at the time so uh, they had you know better pictures and what have you that was right around 1990 91 and uh, so for a lot of you guys they remember those times uh, that, was, that was a fun times where everywhere you looked it was upper deck and top stadium club and, and what have you so all right so we're gonna open our, our first pack here let's let's take a look and uh, if you hear any any ambient noise uh, that would be uh, my granddaughter uh, running through the house. She's a sweetheart, but uh, she she has pretty much two modes: uh, happy and sad. And uh, you can always tell the sadder she gets because her octave levels just continuously <laughs> continuously rise as she's uh, screaming to high heaven. I, I swear, I'm I'm surprised uh, the glass in our house has not shattered uh, multiple times as, as loud as she gets. Anyway, without further ado, let's let's take a look. All right, so we got Larry Walker, Dave Magadan, Scott Terry, uh, Raphael Belliard, Mitch Williams. Oh man, Mitch Williams! Uh, <laughs> I remember the year he—I uh, think he threw uh, the the pitch that uh, Joe Carter knocked out of the park uh, for Toronto to win uh, uh, the World Series. Uh, that was—I felt sorry for him. He—he, uh, he, uh, I think he had to leave. Pittsburgh for a while uh, after that. that was a typical bottom of the ninth, you know, game winning home run. It was, and he was the guy who uh, was fated to throw that pitch. All right, so we got Kurt Stillwell, Lee Guterman, Roy Smith, Eric Hansen, Mark Langston, uh, Dan Gladden, and uh, Dave Winfield. I probably won't go through every single name here. I just don't have the voice for it. In fact, I need to stop and get a quick drink. I'm already, I'm already parched. That's, that's how bad I am. In, in all honesty, I don't know if there's any random inserts uh, in this thing. If there is, you know, awesome. If not, that that's okay, too. Uh, it does say you can win an autographed Joe DiMaggio card. I don't know if that's something you had to send in back then. It's not something I'm going to look forward to, so I'm just going to open this up and uh, be cool about it. All right, so <clears throat> we have Dave Anderson, uh, Mike. Pagliarulo. Interesting. Jeff Gray. Darren Fletcher. Kevin Morton. Oh, we have uh, the Hit Club for Nolan Ryan. I think that was his seventh no-hitter. Uh, the man was, was awesome. 
and we have an all-star for Terry Steinbach with uh, the Oakland A's. I have to admit, I I was a huge fan of the Oakland A's back then. You had the Bash Brothers, you had uh, Mark McGuire, and and uh, Jose Canseco, and quite a few other good players. And I used to go out of my way to watch them. I, it was uh, the Oakland A's for the AL and the St. Louis Cardinals uh, for the National League. And I have to say, over the years, I've <clears throat> I've pretty much stuck with the Cardinals, the, the A's. I still watch every once in a while, but uh, it's pretty much the Cardinals for me and, and the Braves, uh, considering I, I live in the Atlanta area now. So the Braves have kind of grown on me over the years, especially the fact that they won the World Series uh, recently. So, all right, let's get back to it. So Pete, Shawrick, Bob Malecki, Joey Cora, Gilberto Reyes, Jimmy Navarro, Juan Gonzalez. All right. Alito Perez, Albert Bell. Okay, looks like he's uh, <laughs> he looks like he's uh, uh, looks like he was catching a pop flyer or something. But I, I have to say that's probably not the best best photo here. So, and uh, <laughs> that just, that just didn't look quite right. <laughs> it didn't look like he looked like he'd been drinking for a minute and <laughs> didn't didn't know what what sport he was playing. Uh, it kind of looks like me when, when I try to play uh, any type of sport nowadays. All right, so we have Joe Klink, uh, Jose Vizcano, uh, Mike Morgan, Carlos Quintana, Matt Marullo, uh, Mark Knudsen, Rick Briley, Glenn Braggs, Mike Eichhorn. Uh, one of us relates to Finkel uh, for you Ace Ventura fans out there. Dave Gallagher, Steve Avery, Tim Nehring, Marquise Grissom. Todd Stottlemyre, Randy Tomlin, and uh, Chili Davis. I have to admit, I, I recognize a lot of these names from back in the day. I, I don't watch as much uh, baseball as I used to. It's just, it's I just don't have the time for it between, uh, you know, work and different hobbies and and what have you. So, but back here, back in the day, I used to watch a lot, a of, lot of baseball. All right, Mike Henneman. Uh, Mel Thompson, uh, Tati Higuera, uh, Mickey Telton, Doug Henry, Top Henke, All Star with the big head, pretty cool. Tommy Green, Mike Heath, Steve Lyons, Pete Incavigla. I know I, I know I screwed that one up. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, Bob Malaki, Joey Cora, Juan Gonzalez. Already got a double. Already awesome. Melito Perez, uh, another Albert Bell. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, <laughs> and a David Wells. Oh my goodness! I, I, I'm telling you now. <laughs> Every time I, if, if I, if I run into a lot of Albert Bells, I'm, you're gonna run into uh, hearing me laugh <laughs> a, whole, a whole lot of times because uh, that one kind of tickles me <laughs> every time. Unless I see something else that's. Um, even more funny than that picture. I, I'll admit, I'm going to laugh quite a few times. I don't know if there's any error cards or anything else, but that is about as, as uh, close to pure comedy. <laughs> it's just... Okay. Uh, Rich Rodriguez. Uh, Joe Klink. Uh, Jose. Mike Morgan. Oh, we're getting a lot of doubles here. Carlos Rodriguez. Oh, 1991 highlight. We have Otis Nixon. We have uh, uh, Stolen Base Leader. All right. Cecil Fielder. You know what? I actually have an autograph of his where I actually uh, met Cecil Fielder at a s signing, and I still have it today. It's pretty cool. Uh, John Russell, uh, Lenny Harris, uh, Joe Stuzarski, uh, Jeff Reed, Juan Augusto, Marquise Grissom, Stottlemyre. All right, so we we've gone well into the realm of of doubles here, but this this is not a complaint. It's that's all good. Well, I'm sure we'll run into a lot of these guys because we have quite a few packs here uh, to go through. All right. All right. Wally Backman, uh, Donnie Hill, Eric Yielding, Scott, Scott Fletcher, Mark Lemke, uh, Mark Salas, Bill Plain Tier, Scott Livingston, Wally Whitehurst, Charlie Hayes, Doug Desenzo, Jim Lindemann, Mike Gallego. You know what? I really enjoyed him. I think it was a shortstop, wasn't it? Oh, second base. I I really enjoyed watching him play when he was with the A's. Paul O'Neill, Jim Acker, and Bill Doran. All right, that, that was that was a pretty cool set. Yeah, at the time in the '90s, I lived in uh, Southern California, and uh, 
we had the Dodgers and the Angels, and uh, the Oakland A's would come down and play the Angels quite often. This was before uh, interleague play, so whenever uh, uh, the Oakland A's came down and, and played the Angels, the California Angels at the time, uh, I'd go see at least one game. So that, that was a whole lot of fun. All right. All right, Chris Carpenter, uh, Scott Lewis, Jay Bell, uh, Pat Kelly, Al Newman, Mike Rumley, Randy Bush, Gene Nelson, uh, Joel Skinner, Atlee Hammaker, or, and Robbie Thompson, Bill Kruger, Carlton Fisk, Pasquale Perez, Ozzie Guillen, and Julio Franco. This was when he was with the Rangers before they traded him to uh, the Oakland A's for Jose Canseco. And the funny thing about that trade was I think it was right in the middle uh, when the trade happened. It was right in the middle of an Oakland A's game. Uh, I think uh, even Jose, Jose Canseco was on deck to bat and uh, they called him back uh, to the dugout. And, you know, he's like, hey, what's up? And uh, I think what, Tony La Russa was the manager at the time. And uh, he basically told the Jose, he's like, hey, you've been traded. <laughs> I, and I guess the way the rules are, once you've been traded, you can't, uh, you can't go play. So yeah, he was he was ready to ready to bat, and they say, nope, you're you're part of another team now. So that was an interesting scenario. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that uh, uh, to that level. So all right, Kevin McReynolds, Jim Gott, Jerry Willard, uh, Greg Jeffries, Chuck McElroy, Bill Wegman. Mark Lemke again, Mark Salas, Tim Cruz, Bill Gullickson, Sammy Sosa. All right, Sammy Sosa, not bad. He was with, uh, this was when he was with the Red White Sox. Okay, before he became uh, Mr. Cubs. So uh, he just moved right across the street. I didn't realize he was with the White Sox. Uh, Chris James, Jody Reed, Barry Larkin. All right, Char Charlie LeBrant and Doc Gooden. Okay, that, that, wasn't, that wasn't a bad set right there. Really would like to see like a Jose Canseco or a Mark McGuire or a Ozzie Smith, something uh, that uh, is a little near and dear to my heart. I, I'm pretty sure we'll run into that uh, as we get to it, as we get through these. Frank Viola, Willie McGee. Now, he's with the Giants here, but he used to be with the Cardinals, so uh, he, I, I enjoyed him back in the day. Carlos Baerga, Rance Mullinx. Wait, Mullinix. Sorry about that. Dave Val, Al Newman. Mike Bramley, Randy Bush, Sam Horn, Francisco Oliveras, Kevin Setzer, Eric Anthony, Terry Pendleton. I think he played for uh, the Cardinals as well for a little bit. Chuck Krim, Mike Lavier, Rick Aguilera. Hey, if you guys couldn't tell, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm very partial to my Cardinals and, and to, my, to my A's. Golly, 1992. I think I, I think I graduated high school that year. That's that's how long ago it was, and that kind of gives away my age. Uh, Kent uh, Merker, Greg Gagne, Devon White, uh, Chief Chitrin, Bud Black, Jeff Blauser, uh, Greg Harris, Curtis Wilkerson, Bob Welch, Jose Okendo, Scott Lewis, Stan Belinda, uh, Mike LeBear, Rick Aguilera, Jeff Reardon, and Jack McDowell. Now, I think the one thing I remember about this guy, and let me know, folks, I think this guy, I think he had a huge fight with somebody, and uh, he ended up getting clocked, uh, <laughs> like, super hard in the face, and I, I think he saw a black eye on him for, like, the next few weeks. Uh, that's how I remember him, and folks, correct me if I'm wrong, so let me know. But, uh, yeah, 1992, I think that was the year, what, Batman Returns came out? Because, uh, boy, that was a, a downer from the original Batman, uh, Tim Burton. But anyway, uh, Craig Lefertz, Dennis Eckersley. Man, this guy, this guy was money when he was with uh, the A's. And then, <laughs> the cool thing about it was, he went to the Cardinals, and he was money there, too, in this so I, I'm a huge fan of uh, Dennis over there. Eddie Murray, Luis Gonzalez, Randy Bush, Gene Nelson, Jose Melendez, Javier Ortiz, Gerald Clark, Larry Anderson, Mark Lee, 
Gino Petrali. Ken Hill. Ken Griffey Jr. All right. So it looks like we, uh, I think we've got about not even halfway through, but we have a, a Ken Griffey Jr. I, it's not a rookie, but it's, he's, he was right in the height of his uh, popularity at the time. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to put that right here so everybody can see. And so that's pretty cool. Uh, Mark Carrion and uh, Roger Clemens. Oh, that's another one. That's a, that's not too bad, but we'll uh, we'll leave the Ken Griffey Jr. out there. Oh wow, wow! Sorry, <laughs> I, I should have opened this up in camera, but as soon as I open up, I see right here on the bottom, I uh, you know Mark McGuire. So that's that's gonna won't be a surprise, but. It, it was a nice surprise at the time I opened up the pack, so I should have opened that on camera. I apologize, but I'll try to be better next time. Like I said, this is my first time, so bear with me. Okay, Bruce Hurts, uh, Jeff Ballard, Sid Bream, and uh, Rich Rodriguez. Oh, all-star, another Cecil Fielder. John Russell, Todd Burns, Joe Hesketh, Atlee Hammaker, Robbie Thompson, Bill Kruger, not related to Fred. Uh, Norm Charlton, Ozzy Guillen, Julio Franco, Dave Henderson. Oh man! Now this guy, he could smash the ball. He could, and, and he was one of those that it was just all or nothing. It was either going to be a fly out or it was going to be a home run. Uh, I enjoyed watching him immensely. And then, right after that, we have Mark McGuire. He, uh, he was, he was a lot of fun to watch. In fact, I'm, I'm going to leave good old Mark right here as well, just because I was a huge fan of him with the A's and with the Cardinals and uh, <laughs> you know this is one back when he was a lot smaller uh, before he decided to uh, change uh, his size and uh, <laughs> and became the Big Mac but uh, we, we won't go there but <laughs> all right so opening this up looks like we have a oh we have Cecil Fielder here on the bottom so that'll be nice to get to all right, Bob Melvin, Chris, Chris Donalds, Charles Geralt, Bip Roberts. That's a heck of a name growing up with. Phil Plantier, Scott Livingston, and we have the the No Hit Club again with Tommy Green, and then we have All Star Wade Boggs, uh, Jose Segura, Bob Tewksbury, Lance Parrish, Charlie Howe, Roberto Alomar, Billy Randolph, Andres Galarraga, and then we have Cecil Fielder. That was another guy who could could smash it like uh, no tomorrow. I'm going to try not to say smash too often. That just sounds weird. Alright. I didn't even look at what was on the bottom this time. I'm going to let it surprise me. Alright, so we have Lance Johnson, Mel Hall, Bill Sampin, Mike Jeffcoat, Mitch Williams, Tim Deshays, Pedro Guerrero, Wes Chamberlain, Gilberto Reyes, Jamie or Jaime Navarro, Mike Bell, Mike Fielder, Walt Weiss, another guy. He was the shortstop, yeah. And uh, Ken Caminiti, Greg Olson, and Hensley Mullins. So, all right, all right. So, was it 1992? Yeah, it was. That's when. Uh, the Olympics went to uh, Barcelona. I remember, uh, I think there was the Olympic triple cast on cable. And I, I spent all two weeks uh, watching uh, the Olympics almost nonstop. Uh, Luis Gonzalez, Brian Harper, Danny Jackson, Hal Morris, Pete Shawreck, Les Lancaster. I used to live in a city called Lancaster in California. Uh, Mariano Duncan, Tim Belcher, Jose Segura. Bob Tewksbury, Lance Parrish, Charlie Howe, Doc Gooden, Roberto, Willie, Andres Galarraga. More doubles, but not bad ones. I don't think there's really a such thing. Well, I guess there is a such thing as a bad double. <laughs> so, but, you know, give me a double of, uh, of, uh, Ken Griffey Jr. here, and, uh, I'll be just fine. <laughs> All right, Dave Anderson. Mike Pagliarulo, Jeff Gray, Darren Fletcher, Ken Patterson, Julio Machado, Matt Marulio, Marulo, 
uh, Francisco, Kevin Setzer, Eric Anthony. Ooh, we have a Ricky Henderson Dream Team card. All right, you know what? We'll, we'll put that off to the side here. I, I'm guessing that'll be uh, something uh, worth of note. Willie Randolph, Andres Galarraga, South Sofielder again, and Rafael Palmero. So, yeah, I gotta take another swig of a drink here. I'm uh, with all this talking, I, I get quite parched. And it's not good to have liquid close, but I, I can't help it. I, I get a little thirsty. So, okay. <clears throat> now, it's kind of funny. I, I got back into this because I was just going through, you know, my... <laughs> I was going through my old stuff, and I ran into a lot of my old cars, which I still have today, and I just went... And, and all of a sudden, I just felt myself, you know, falling back into uh, the card collecting. I was really big into it back in the back in the 90s. But being a uh, young, college-bound student uh, of very limited financial means, uh, <laughs> being being in the collecting business was not one for a uh, certain financial uh, future. So. Uh, but yeah, as I was going through my cards and kind of just seeing how much they were worth, uh, part of me just felt myself falling back in, and and before I knew it, I was uh, <laughs> I was looking for a local card shop, and and before and before I know, I had purchased a few boxes of cards, uh, and and now here we are. So <laughs> it, it's it is what it is. Okay, Omar Vizquel, uh Kent Merker, Greg Gagne, Devon White. Tim Belcher, Lee Stevens, Rafael Maria Mires, uh, Dean Palmer, Terry Shumpert, Bill Picota, uh, Ball Kilgus, Gene Larkin, Sean Hellegas, Hubie Brooks, Dave Justice. All right, that's a that's a pretty cool one. And Delano De Shields. All right, all right, and we are almost at the halfway mark, folks. This has been uh, quite quite fun. In fact, uh, at my local card shop, they had series two of uh, this this, bas this baseball series set. So I might go there uh, sometime next week and, and pick it up. So, all right. So we have Greg Harris, uh, Mark Guthrie, Steve Finley, Rex Hedler, Mike Remlinger, Steve Kamenicki. Ooh, this is when. Uh, Ricky Henderson stole was the all-time base dealer. Uh, I remember watching uh, when uh, he tied it, and when he, I think I was watching it live when uh, he stole when he made this highlight on uh, television. I remember mm -hmm. there was multiple opportunities for him to do it, and when he finally did it, uh, it was it was pretty cool. All right, so Joe Carter, All Star, Gary Reedus, Steve Decker, Spike Owen. Mike Sosha. Oh, we got another Ken Griffey Jr. All right, like I said, for uh, for a double, I am perfectly fine with that. You will not hear me complain about having a second Ken Griffey Jr. And we've only gone halfway through this box, so if we're lucky, maybe maybe a second or third one. But we'll see. Uh, Mark carry on and uh, Roger Clemens again and and a Gary Gaetti. So we got multiple doubles, and and two of them were Ken Griffey Juniors, which that is just awesome, just awesome. All right, I'm not gonna pull out two more decks this time. I'm just gonna pull out uh, one more stack, and then uh, just so it doesn't take up as much uh, camera space here. So we'll uh, I'll pull well. You know what, this box is just, <laughs> just, just, just wants the cards to come out, so I'll, I'll go ahead and pull them out. So, that's, that's kind of how it works here. I, I just kind of go with the flow, for the most part. It's, it's how it works when you have, uh, little children running around your house. You kind of have to go with the flow. So. It's almost like, uh, what was that movie, The Last Dragon, where you kind of have to go with the flow. All right, so, <laughs> but I'm I'm not gonna glow anytime soon. All right, so, 
golly, that movie was, uh, as a kid, I thought that movie was pretty awesome, but <laughs> as you get older, you, you kind of think about that movie and go, man, that movie was kind of, kind of garbage. <laughs> you, had, you had show enough. <laughs> yeah, that was, oh my goodness, I, I could talk about that show, that movie for, for hours, okay? <laughs> you know what? I, I, I gotta move this out of the way so I can, oh man, I, I'm making a mess here, folks. I'm, I'm making a mess here. Uh, I promise you, I'll, I'll try and be better in, in future videos, and uh, you know, <laughs> it's, I'll push. I'll push the stack a little back here. Okay, so we have uh, Felix Furman, uh, Kevin Ramier, Kevin Reynolds, uh, Mick Reynolds. I'm sorry, and Jim got Gene Nelson, Jose Melendez, Javier Ortiz. Uh, Brian Hunter. Oh, we got another dream team with Ricky Henderson. Man. All right. Charles Nagy. Bobby Bonilla. Big Bobby Bo. Man. I, we need to find out who his agent is. Because that whole Bobby Bonilla day with, with the Mets, that was that was a work of magic right there, wasn't it? All right. Jeff Reardon. Uh, Jack McDowell. Uh, BJ Surhoff. Alex Fernandez. And, and for those of you that aren't familiar with uh, Bobby Bonilla, I think the Mets owed him uh, back in the mid, early to mid-90s. Uh, they owed him like like $3 million or something like that. And they wanted to buy out his contract. And uh, somehow he worked out a deal to where to buy out his contract, they would give him like a million dollars a year for like the next 30 years. So he turned a $3.2 million payday into like a 30 million dollar payday and i think july 1st of every year for like the next 30 years is called bobby bonilla day because he gets a, a check for a, a million dollars and like i said that's that's some magic i i gotta find a way to talk to my boss and see how i can uh work some, something like that out i i don't think i've <laughs> either somebody missed a decimal point when they signed that deal or <laughs> or Somebody was uh, heavily inebriated when they agreed to that. I, I don't know. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Bill Spears, Doug Drabeck, Tom Gordon, Rich DeLuca, Warren uh, Newsom, Derek Bell, uh, Sed Landrum, Doug Piet, Brian Holman, Jose Rijo, Terry Shumpert, Bill Picota, G.A. Sherhoff, Alex Fernandez, Dave Smith, and Mike Boddicker. A few new names in there. I haven't seen any Frank Thomas uh, or, or Randy Johnson. I think they're around during this time. We'll see. Uh, Brian Harper, Danny Jackson, Hal Morris, Chris Nabolts, Brian Hunter, Pat Rice, Ruben Sierra with a big head, Omar Olivares, uh, Barry Jones, Gary Rita, Steve Decker, Spike Owen, Gary Gaetti, Alvaro Espinoza, Randy Reddy. I say that five times fast. And Paul Molitor. Uh... And isn't Deion Sanders uh, in baseball during this time? So, there's a few names I, I haven't seen yet. Uh, Frank Thomas, uh, Jeff Bagwell is another one. Chuck Knobloch. They, those might be in series uh, series two. So, we'll, we'll take a look when uh, if I ever get that box. We'll, we'll see. All right. Vaughn Hayes, uh, Heath Slocum, Terry Mulholland, Robin Ventura. There we go. Uh, wasn't he the guy who, like, charged Nolan Ryan and and, <laughs> and ended up in a headlock and getting his head bashed in? Uh, folks out there, if you remember that, remind me if, if that was him or not. Uh, Mariota Duncan, Tim Belcher, uh, Lee Stevens, Mike Bell, Mike Fielder, Greg Maddox, uh, Frank Tanana, Walt Weiss, Ken Caminiti, Greg Olson, and Hensley, Hensley Mullins. Woo! That's a mouthful. All right. I, 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 I know I'm trying to keep these cards here so they can be seen, but I'm trying my best. And and who knows, maybe in the future I'll get a new camera, um, something with a little bit uh, sharper image and maybe a little bit more of a spread on my desk uh, so I can show a little bit more of the cards. But, you know, we'll grow here, folks. Uh, you know, and if you'd like to follow along, you can always hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and uh, follow along as I get better at these. And uh, 
like I said, I, I'm mostly going for the retro stuff. Uh, I'll probably open open up another box of these from time to time. Uh, just because I just like going through these things. Uh, and just, <laughs> it's fun for me to open up the box. Actually, the fun is opening up the box and opening up the packs and just seeing what's in there. You know, and being mildly surprised. So, and for 20 bucks, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. So, uh, Kelly Downs, Scott Scudder, uh, Scott Sanderson, Jay Howell, Troy Affinier, interesting name, uh, Alonzo Powell. Uh, we have another no hit uh, club. We have Bob Malecki, Mike Flanagan, Mark Williamson, and Greg Olson. All right. Kyle Ripken Jr., All Star. Awesome. Paul Gibson, Lance Blankenship. Russ Swan, Wally Whitehurst, Pat Combs, Will Clark. I think he was with the Cardinals for a little while. Or was that Jack Clark? I think that was Jack Clark. Uh, Steve Bedrosian and Don Mattingly. All right. <laughs> Every time I see Don Mattingly, I just think of that Simpsons episode. Uh, what was it? The Homer softball. And, uh, <laughs> and the owner kept making fun of Don Mattingly and the sideburns. He was like, cut off those sideburns, hippie. <laughs> and, and then he goes, well, he's still better than Steinbrenner. <laughs> That's all I can remember when I see Don Mattingly. That, I think they had, you know, Daryl Strawberry, uh, Canseco, and a few other guys. But the Don Mattingly parts on, on that episode uh, is really what stuck with me. If, if you guys remember that episode, uh, put it in the comments below. That's, that's one of the best episodes of The Simpsons of all time. Uh, in fact, I don't think I've watched The Simpsons in like the past 10, 15 years, but... Uh, man, was The Simpsons, like, just stuff you couldn't forget back in the day. Uh, <laughs> all right. Jeff Russell, Tom Pagnazzi, Eric King, Andy Ashby, uh, Tim Sherrill, Tim Spear, Juan Guzman, Storm Davis, Daryl Boston, Shane Mack, uh, Terry Leach, Dwayne Ward, da Todd Zeal, Louis Polonia, Carlton Fisk. I, I think this is the first pack in a while where it's... I guess almost all new people. I, no, no doubles at all. I, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that was a that was a lot of people. I I didn't see their names before. All right. <coughs> Joe Clink, Jose Viscato, Mike Morgan, Carlos Quintana, Bo Jackson. That's right. We got the infamous Bo Jackson. The guy, if you owned Tecmo Bowl on the NES, you could literally run in circles ad infinitum, and the defense could not touch you. Uh, I did not play Tecmo Bowl, but I watched plenty of friends play it. I've watched plenty of videos on YouTube uh, with how fast Bo Jackson was, and uh, that, that was quite insane. <laughs> Eric Plunk, Bobby Witt, Frank Castillo, uh, Ron Hassey, John Smoltz. Of the Braves, he's uh, still revered here today. Thomas Howard, Marvin Freeman, Ron Gant, Felix Jose, George Bell, and Scott Erickson. Yeah, Bo, Bo knows. That was a fun marketing campaign with Mikey. I tell you that cartoon. Uh, what was it? The All Stars with. It had Michael Jordan and uh, Wayne Grisky and, and Bo Jackson. I, I kind of felt bad watching that show because they kind of made Bo Jackson kind of a an idiot because I think that's all he could say was was like Bo knows whatever. <laughs> that was that was the only way he could talk. Uh, I think I watched maybe an episode or two and just kind of just turned my head in disgust because I was like, golly, this is this is awful. All right, uh, Harold Baines, Mickey Mariandi Mariandini. Uh, Jeff Brantley, uh, Gerald Alexander, Scott Bales, Steve Crawford, Mike Aldretti, Louis Aquino, Jack Clark, yes, with the Red Sox. Uh, yeah, he was the one with the Cardinals for a little while. Uh, Brian Harvey, Matt Williams, Jeff Crook, Rafael Palmero, I think we got him before, Chris Sabo, Andre Dawson, I think this is the first time we've seen him, and Joe Carter. Yeah, if anybody remembers that, that All-Stars cartoon, and, and tell me if I'm wrong of how they they treated Bo Jackson because uh, like I said only saw like an episode or two and I was just you know by that time I was kind of out of Saturday morning cartoons um, you know the cartoons I did watch was uh, Batman the animated series and X-Men and 
uh, Animaniacs or something uh, just just not as silly. I mean, Animaniacs was the epitome of silliness, but just just more quality. Uh, it was obvious the the All Stars was more of a marketing thing. So, like I said, I watched an episode or two. and went, okay, this is not for me. So, all right. Uh, Jerry Willard, Greg Jeffries, Bob Melvin, Chris Donalds, Pat Rice, Ruben Sierra, All Star. All right. Omar Alvarez, Gerald Young, Benny Santiago, uh, Dave Rigetti, Jose Lind. Now, this is one of these guys where, <laughs> where you know, just about every card of his is, is an error card because I guess they got his birthday wrong or something like that. So I'll put that off to the side see if that's an error card. I don't know. But I guess there's an, also another issue where uh, there's a matter with uh, money laundering and people paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for a Jose Lind card and people are going, well, that makes no sense. So Anyway, uh, so if somebody wants to give me a several hundred thousand dollars for that card, I, I'll be more than happy to give it to you. Um, my pleasure. You're just not going to get anything else. Uh, so that, that that's that. Uh, Don Slott, Dave Smith, Mike Boddicker, Fred McGriff. All right. And Lonnie Smith. That was a, f a few new names there. All right. Okay. So we have come to the final stack. The it's we're, we're at the, I won't say we're, we're not at the end times, but we are definitely almost to the end here. And sorry if I'm shaking things. I, my hands are, they're always moving. All right. So we're, we're 40 plus minutes into this thing. And, uh, let's go ahead and knock this out. Cause we're going to be here just shy of an hour and uh I've, I've, it's it's a saturday today and i still have plenty of other things to do it's uh four o'clock at the moment but uh I, I still have a lot of stuff to do today so <clears throat> all right all right so we have jay howell scott red reskin kevin bass pete o'brien bobby witt frank castillo bernie williams brett barbary Tim Nearing, Nearing, uh, Paul Gibson, Lance Blankenship, Russ Swan, Biz Buzio, Mike Gallego, Paul O'Neill, and Jim Acker. So, but yeah, this morning I had to go to, uh, <laughs> we're part of a community garden, and uh, today was a, uh, a day where we had to uh, spread out gravel. And uh, I'll be perfectly honest with you folks. Uh, that's not something I do on a regular basis. That's not what I do on a uh, for a livelihood. I am a uh, desk jockey. I, I sit at a desk. Uh, I've been doing it for quite some time. So <clears throat> I, I will admit that was quite a bit of a physical expenditure. Uh, something I probably should do uh, more often at, at my current age uh, for better health. And uh, I'll get back into it. But needless to say, that uh, activity was quite strenuous and, and something a little bit more than what I was used to. So I'm I'm quite exhausted, but I, I still have a lot of other stuff to do today. <laughs> so, anyway, Bill Landrum, Dwayne Henry, wow, Juan Beringue, Gringer, sorry, Ted Power, Bob Kipper, John Allerud, uh Paul Ossenmacher, Brandy Anderson, Tim Tufel, Jim Gantner, uh, Alfredo Griffin, Greg Hibbard, uh, Alvaro Espinoza, Randy Reddy, Paul Molitor, and Kirk McCaskill. So I, I apologize with that one name. It it eluded me on how to pronounce that. All right, a few more packs here, folks. I got a stack of wrappers over here. That whoo. Okay, uh, Jeff Robinson, Mike Jackson, uh, Tracy Jones. I mean, <laughs> for 1992, this guy going by the name of Mike Jackson. That's a uh, that's quite interesting for that time. In fact, uh, I have a co-worker uh, with, that goes by the name of uh, Mike Jackson. and I, He's he's about my age, and I asked him, I said, what was it like growing up with that name? And he just, all he could do was shake his head. <laughs> uh, Mike Timlin, Andy Ashby, uh, Tim Sherrill, uh, Tim Spare, Juan Guzman, Greg Maddox, Frank Tanana, Mark Davidson, uh, Lenny Harris, Mike Moore, uh, Vicente Palacios, uh, Brett Saberhagen and Jeff Montgomery. So, yeah, do you, uh, do you guys know anybody with a, a famous name? Uh, in fact, I had another co-worker once 
went by the name of Mario, and, and I couldn't help myself. I had to ask him. I'm like, uh, well, what's it like growing up with that name? And he's like, oh, goodness gracious, it's it's, it's not fun. Or, or maybe you have a name of a, of a famous per person. I do not. So, uh, Carlos Quintana, uh, Kelly Downs, uh, Scott Scudder, Scott Sanderson, Todd Burns, another Bo Jackson. We'll, we'll put that here with, uh, that's right here with the first one. Uh, Eric Plunk. Oh, we got another dream team. Looks like, uh, what was it? Ryan Sandberg. There we go. Ryan Sandberg. I'll put that with, uh, Ricky Henderson then. Uh, Mark Eichhorn. Uh, Dave Gallagher, Steve Avery, Pat Combs, Will Clark, uh, Steve Redrosian, and Don Mattingly. And still with the sideburns. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't help myself. But you know what? At least we haven't run into any more Albert Bell, uh, cards. Because, uh, I'd probably spend the next five minutes laughing. Uh, that, that is, that, that is, that just tickles me. Tickles me to the bone. I, I don't know why, it just looks funny. All right, Mike Henneman, Milt Thompson, Teddy Higuera, Vicky Tuttleton, another no-hit club with Tommy Green, Wade Boggs, Big Head, Scott Bales, Steve Crawford, uh, Pete Harnish, Kurt Stillwell, Leek Gunnerman, Roy Smith, Ivan Calderon, Billy Ripken, uh, Kevin Elster, and Eric Hansen. We have... Uh, Oh, sorry about that. We have five more packs, and uh, that'll be it. In fact, I'm going to readjust this camera here, because uh, <laughs> you, guys, you guys were looking at, at the trash. <laughs> you guys were seeing more of the, the pile of wrappers than uh, <laughs> it just slowly moved over. Each time I bumped into it, I, I'll, I'll figure this out, guys, as, as we go along. All right, Ryan Sandberg. All right, Cut. Scott Kuball, uh, Frank Viola, Willie McGee, Jose Melendez, Javier Ortiz, Brian Hunter, Pat Rice, Norm Charlton, Ron Hassey, John Smoltz, Thomas Howard, Dwayne Hen I mean, Dave Henderson, and another Mark McGuire. I gotta put that with my with my buddy here, just because. I, I just I'm just that way. Ron Gant and Felix Jose. Alright. We're down to three packs left. Okay. Alright. Chris Naboltz, Danny Tartable, Chris Carpenter, Scott Lewis, Lee Stevens, Rafael Ramirez, Dean Palmer, Gito Minatelli, Jack Clark, Brian Harvey, Matt Williams, John Crook, Cecil Fielder, Rafael Pomero, Chris Sabo, and Andre Dawson. I think we had uh, another pack that was like this exactly. <laughs> so not only did we get doubles, but we got a, an exact double pack. All right. All right. Todd Hayes, Heath Slocum, Terry Maholland, Robin Ventura, Greg Briley, Glenn Braggs, uh, Troy Afinier, Alonzo Powell, Charles Nagy, Bobby Bonilla, Leo Gomez, Benny Santiago, Chris Sabo, Andre Dawson, Joe Carter, and Vince Coleman. He was another another Cardinal. Now, that wasn't exactly uh, the same pack as before, but a few doubles here. But last but not least, I'm, I'm going to... <laughs> this thing is all. This thing is all levels of crooked. I I apologize. I'll I'll try and keep it sturdier in in the future. <laughs> that, that angle is just just all off. <laughs> I'm sure half of you go you guys are looking sideways just so you guys can uh, see what the heck I'm I'm uh, showing you guys. I, so we'll we'll figure that out next time. But here we are, the last last pack of uh, the score. Major League 1992 Major League Baseball Series 1 players cards. So, once again, if you like what you saw, always hit that like button. You can always subscribe and uh, follow me on my adventures of opening them up uh, future packs. Uh, so, all right. So, Steve Chitrin, Bill Spears, Doug Drabeck, Tom Gordon, Gino Minatelli, Joe Redfield, 
Ah, a no hit club with Wilson Alvarez. Awesome. Julio Franco. Pat Borders. Franklin Stubbs. Uh, Gary Pettis. Pat Tabler. Uh, Dickie Thon. Uh, Mike Devereaux. Eric Davis. And Rob Deere. So that was an interesting one. That was, I don't think anybody on here was on a previous pack. Um, in fact, part of me was hoping that maybe the very last card would be an Albert Bell so I can end off uh, this opening with uh, a good laugh. But needless to say, that was not to be. So the, the ones that I took out for the most part were the Mark McGuire, the highlight Ricky Henderson, uh, the Bo Jackson, <laughs> the Jose Lean, just because. Uh, and then I had two Ken Griffey Juniors. And then we have the Dream Teams with uh, two Ricky Hendersons. And I'll move the Jose Lean over here <laughs> so you guys can take a look at it. Uh, the, the two Ricky Hendersons and the Ryan Sandberg. So those are the ones that I thought was pretty cool. Uh, thank you so much for spending time with me and uh, with this... Uh, I don't want to call it an unboxing, but that's basically what it was. A uh, uh, box break, if you will. Uh, <laughs> we're just over the 50-minute mark. Uh, this was a whole lot of fun. Uh, this is probably one of the first complete box breaks I've done in a very long time. Uh, I'll probably do... Well, it's not a probably. I will do some more. Uh, I have a few more boxes uh, in my possession, as well as a few more coming my way. And, uh... I'll just keep making videos, and if you guys want to watch, uh, by all means, uh, like I said, you can always like and subscribe, and uh, you'll see uh, future videos, and uh, just just join along with the fun, along with the ride. If, if there was anything uh, what, that I opened up that, that uh, I did not count as something remarkable, and you felt it was remarkable, by all means, post it in the comments below, let me know. This was, uh, like I said, this was just a fun, this is just a hobby. Something I used to do in my childhood, but uh, now that I'm a, a very seasoned, older guy, uh, yeah, uh, I can do this on my weekends. I plan to do uh, a video once a week, uh, nothing too strenuous, uh, simply because I have uh, too many other uh, hobbies and, and things I like to do in my spare time. But uh, I'll try and post a video once a week if I can. I'll do uh, multiple sports, like I said, I'll do... Uh, baseball basketball football uh, I even have uh, a couple of boxes of that upper deck comic ball uh, that came out in the early 90s um, I think I have uh, from comic ball 1 2 and 3 so I'll be doing future unboxing of those and uh, like I said I will also even delve into the world of Pokemon uh, simply because it was something uh, my kids were into way back in the early days of Pokemon and they're still into them now so uh, it is a constant thing going through my house where uh, an ETB will definitely hit uh, my possession. Usually it's for uh, a birthday or, or what have you. But I have no problem taking a, an ETB or possibly even a booster box uh, depending on the growth of this channel. So I like to do a mix of things. Uh, and hell, I'll even, you know, if, if things get really uh, jumping off here over time, I'll even do... Uh, you know, Star Wars or, you know, the Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, I wasn't a fan of them uh, back in the day, but I'll do that if you if that's something you guys want to see. Uh, but uh, like I said, I'm just here for some fun. Uh, hopefully I can get better with the camera uh, and maybe even get a, maybe a better camera. I don't know. Tell me what you guys thought. Uh, if you like what you saw, if, if the pictures were clear, uh, if you were able to hear me clearly. Um, things I can improve upon uh, it's it's all good I, and I'll, I'll take everything under consideration but thanks so much for watching uh, and you guys take care and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>